So hello everybody, sorry for the inconvenience during the session yesterday and second drive for my talk with the topic silicon graphene composites for high energy batteries. Um, once again, I'd like to give you a very short overview on the Vata AG group. Vata is listed on stock market since 2017 and is principally divided into two operative business units, the Vata Micro Batteries and Solutions and the Vata Household Batteries. Vata Micro Batteries include chemistries like zinc air for hearing aid, but also small lithium ion cells for smart hearables and wearables. While Vata Household mainly produces uh, primary alkaline batteries, AA, AAA batteries, but also larger battery modules, for example, for home storage in combination with the PV system. My company, the Vata Micro Innovation, can be seen as a kind of applied R&D department within the Vata Group. So we assist all the operative business units with uh, advanced development. Just some uh, company figures on this slide. In 2020, Vata produced around 3 billion cells and employed around 4,600 uh, people around the world. About 80% of the staff is based in Europe and here mainly in Germany. And the overall revenues of Vata in 2020 uh, were around 870 million euros. This is my last slide uh, on the company, but I think a very important one. So Vata commits to a sustainable future and in 2021, um, all cell production sites will be powered by 100% uh, green energy. Also, all future developments will put sustainability in focus. So we work on the reduction of cobalt in our cells, for example, or the reduction of waste and water consum consumption in our production. Um, and finally, in 2017, um, 2027, sorry, Vata plans to be CO2 neutral on all production sites. On this slide, um, you see the so-called battery technology readiness level chart. As you can see, my company, the Vata Micro Innovation, is located here in the middle of the chart. So whenever a new technology, a new material, a new process emerges, um, our aim is to um, demonstrate the benefits of this new technology in first proof of concept prototypes. And then we start transferring the know-how and activities to the Vata product development for further upscaling, for cell testing, for safety testing, for product qualification, and finally, hopefully, hopefully um, for market launch. At Vata, we are looking on a plenty of processes and materials to improve uh, our lithium ion batteries and their production. As mentioned before, not only cell performance parameters, but also sustainability goals uh, are important for us. In this respect, for example, circular economy gets more and more relevant. For the moment, battery recycling basically means the removal of copper and aluminum. While in future, it will also be beneficial to remove lithium, cobalt, nickel, or even whole active material particles for a second use. Digitalization will help us to make the production faster and more efficient, will therefore help to reduce waste, to save resources, but also to meet the targeted cost. On the cathode side, there's on the one hand the trend to a low cobalt, nickel rich, high energy material, on the other hand, the development of greener water-based processes that can save energy and cost during production. And finally, on the anode side, we are working on next generation anode materials based on silicon that can offer significantly higher energy at reasonable cost. On this slide, you can see the build-up and the working principle of a lithium-ion battery using the example of a Vata coin power cell. So here lithium ions move from the negative electrode, the anode, to the positive electrode, the cathode, and in order to compensate this charge, electrons move uh, through an external circuit at the same time and power your device. Um, the cell gets discharged in this process while during charging, those processes are simply re reversed and you have to provide power to force the lithium ions into the other direction. If you now want to increase the energy density of the cell, there are in principle two ways. On the one hand, you can optimize the volume usage of your battery by reducing dead space, for 